So I'm in the garden and we've been promised day upon day upon day of Mediterranean style weather. 25 degrees, possibly even up to 30. So I've brought out my mini fridge and uh, this draws 40 watts at 12 volts. So I've hooked it up via one of these, um, it's an automatic switch off unit if the battery voltage gets too low but it's fine at the moment 12.4 but 40 watts is going to start drawing down on this battery um, unfortunately my bottle of water doesn't really fit in there but the uh, tin of Pepsi does so that's fine let's just check that that's working yeah this is a Peltier element fridge it's just a solid state uh, Peltier heat pump there's a fan in there and a heat sink. Quite a simple thing, really. I thought it was quite cute. So, um, right now, as regards the MPPT charge controller test rig, it's got a new addition, which is this enormous capacitor. It's um, a really beefy 100 volts, 3300 microfarads. And I wanted it to um, do the high voltage input checks. Uh, I was a bit concerned the previous capacitor at 35 volts um, could have blown up, it didn't, but uh, 100 volts uh, is, a, is a really good margin. And then the other thing I've been working on is this. And this is um, a potentiometer um, with a dial on the top, which will go from uh, 10, which I'm going to be... Uh, saying is 100% and then it can be wound all the way down to zero and that will give a rough indication of the uh, PWM mark space ratio or the uh, pulse width and it's going to be mounted here so that it kind of sits there and then the idea is that I can hold the camera, I might even mount the camera um, above the display and you'll be able to see much more clearly what the PWM mark space ratio is. So I'm just going to go and mount that bracket on there and then uh, do some more tests. Right the rig has the new control dial here which I can adjust from 100% downwards and uh, once again I've put the two 20 watt panels with the series connection there so that their voltages are added and that's going in as an input. Now with 100% pulse width modulation and the solar panel voltage very low at 12.5 volts that's the same as the battery voltage essentially um, we're only getting 10 watts or so now if I start to bring this down with the high voltage I'm having to take the panels much much uh, further down in terms of PWM to max out so that's dropping back maximum's about there and then the higher PWMs, it drops back again. So let's find the maximum. It's about about there at 20% PWM. Now, that's not going to be bang on 20% PWM. I don't really know what it is because it's not calibrated. But it's low mark space ratio. I've got 32, 33 volts on the panels. And maximum watts. So if I take PWM up it drops away. If I take the PWM down, it drops away. That's about the maximum. It is slightly overcast at the moment, um, so we're not getting full power from these two panels. Should be able to get um, 40 watts out of them. But um, that's what we're getting for the moment. Now that means that the battery voltage has crept up a little bit because we're pushing 25 let me just reset that reset the max indicator because it was nonsense we're pushing 25, 27, 28 watts peak it's just flicking between the two densities of bar graph because I've got the trigger point at 27 volts I ought to put a bit of hysteresis on that really stop that happening but um, yeah about 29 watts going into the battery and with the fridge here 40 watts are coming out so we're still draining the battery. Now I'm just going to check the temperature of the butt converter components again 
So once again, the inductor's reasonably warm. No, the MOSFET's not doing anything really. Shocky diode, no, nothing really there. It's probably because we're not pushing as much power as I was last time. Anyway, now what I want to do is switch from uh, these two uh, solar panels to the single 80 watt that's over there and see if putting a high current through the converter um, makes it as warm as a high voltage. So there are the connections to the 80 watt panel. Um, we're back to low voltage again now. So at the 20% reading there's not a lot happening. The panel voltage is very high. So let's bring the watts up. 60 watts, 65 and then when I go beyond about 75% PWM that drops back a bit. So 63 watts with a direct connection between um, panel and battery. Ease that back a bit and I can get about 65 watts going into the battery. Well now of course 65 watts is way over the 40 watts that the fridge is taking so we're now charging the battery hasn't risen up much yet but it would eventually uh, charge right back up again but what I wanted to know was whether um, the buck conversion process of this lower voltage but higher current and you can see that we're pushing about four nearly four and a half amps through the buck converter whether that would make it hot and it's not particularly hot it's certainly no hotter than with the 40 watt high voltage panel the, in the inductor is reasonably warm but it does seem to be able to um, manage the high currents at um, high percentages of uh, pulse width modulation without the um, warming of those components they're not warm, significantly warm anyway And uh, just one final thing, kind of my finale for today. Um, with a direct connection, I'm now getting about 61, 62 watts. And if I lower the PWM, I'm now getting a much bigger difference. I can actually get about 72, 73 watts. Let's just reset the maximum. Yeah, about 73 watts out of that um, 80 watt panel, and the sun's no stronger, but I have made a change, and that is, I don't know whether you can see that, but I've put the garden sprinkler in front of the panel, so it's sprinkling water all over the panel, so the panel is now cool, and I mean the ambient temperature is pretty high today. Um, so the panel was very warm and solar panels drop their voltage when they're very warm. Well now the panel's pretty cold with water all over it. And it's making a really big difference. The MPPT function is having a big impact now. 73 watts versus about 62 with a direct connection. So with a cold solar panel, now if this were a, a cold but very sunny day, you can see that um, the advantages of MPPT would be quite significant. That's an extra 10 watts in sort of 60. That's, um, what's that in percentage terms? Oh, I can't work it out. 15, something like that? Maybe even 20%? And you just don't, I wasn't getting that early, you just don't get that um, when the solar panel's very warm.